Hey there, I'm from FibonacciArez.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Palantir. PLTR is the ticker. We will talk about all of the things that we need to know before we invest slash trade Palantir. Like, subscribe and let's talk Palantir. Okay, so one of the most interesting recent de developments with Palantir is that it's re-accelerating the revenue growth. What does it mean is that the rate of the growth of the re revenue is increasing, not only revenue increasing, but the rate of growth is also increasing, which is super, super important for investors because it shows that Palantir is gaining momentum. In its last quarter, Palantir's revenue growth accelerated to 27% percent year over year exceeding the high end of their prior guidance by five percent this led the company to increase their full year revenue expectations which is a very good sign for investors palantir also delivered seven consecutive quarters of profitability on the bottom line which is a major milestone for the company for 20 years Palantir did not achieve profitability on the bottom line and now it's been almost two years since they've delivered profitability. In its latest quarter, customer count grew 41% year over year to 5,993 customers. The trailing two months revenue for the top 20 customers increased by 9% to 57 million per customer. This is a good indication that Palantir's customers are getting value for their services, which is essential for the long-term success. Palantir services are expensive, but they're delivering excellent customer value. The company's top customers are spending more with them, which is evidence that they're getting a good return on their investment. This is a fundamental success factor for this business delivering great customer value while generating reasonable profits on the bottom line. Not only Palantir grew revenue, but their backlog is also increasing. Their second quarter commercial total contract book was 377 million US dollars, representing 31% year over year growth. This growth is faster than their latest quarter revenue growth signaling that the revenue growth is likely to continue accelerating. Their second quarter U.S. commercial revenue grew by 55% year over year, which is an area that can unlock massive potential for Palantir stock investors. The company has gained great traction with government business, but the big question mark is whether they can make inroads with business. Palantir's recent acceleration of success in business has come on the back of a new go-to-market strategy. They're offering boot camps and pilot programs to demonstrate what they can do for business. This is like a free trial where Palantir shows businesses what they can do and then sell their services to them once they demonstrate their capabilities. This strategy has been working very well as evidenced by the growth in commercial revenue and contract value signing. In the second quarter, they booked 262 million US dollars of US commercial total contract value, representing a whooping 152% growth year over year. In conclusion, if you're interested in Palantir stock, there are factors that you should know. There's a lot more to know about Palantir stock and I will. In conclusion, if you're interested in Palantir stock, there are factors that you should know. Now, let's talk about the technical analysis of PLTR. As you see down below, we have the monthly, the weekly, and the daily charts. Always zoom in, zoom out when you do technical analysis. And now, once August is over, we can do take a look on the monthly, as you can see, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and six months. We are bullish on all time frames. Palantir had the best month since February of 2024. Look at this, 17% to the upside, broke up above 
the 2730 area, 2730 area, look left. Since March of 2021 until November of 2021, it was a very, very important area of resistance. Last month, July, tried, failed. This month, August, tried, succeeded. Now we are at the 3313 area, long continuation, and this uptrend is going higher to the 40 and maybe even to the 4990, 50 area. You can also take trend lines on the monthly and here you have it palantir is now at the top of this uptrend trying to break above it another week or two above the 33 area now let's zoom in on the weekly chart we have this uptrend another weekly close above the 33 area and we are heading north to the 36 and 41 on the weekly now if you zoom in a little bit more you can see Previous week, the third week of August, we got also this doji. We've been talking about this doji of a major trend line. Last time, doji, we got a pullback. Here, February hit once again the upper border of this upturn channel. We got a pullback. Is this the third time it's going to happen? We don't know. But last week's, we had lower highs and lower lows still holding above the 3030 area this area should hold a support long continuation on the weekly side above the 3180 area and then we are heading once again back to the 33 and 36 on the weekly and the daily palantir looks like this now you have this daily trend line that holds as resistance for the higher highs which is a pretty good resistance because we want price to go back and retest this trend line and if it goes above last week's highs we are heading north to the 33 on the daily above it we are heading to the 36 six, uh, 36 we can also take the last 13 trading days and now you have more exact swing high swing low Breaking above the upper border of the yellow zone, the 3185, two days holding above the 3185, and we are heading north to the 3230 and 3313. And once we will break above the 3313, we are going to meet each and every future resistance that the FTI gives us. One click away, check the links in the description below for more information. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you find it helpful. If you did, like, subscribe. Check the links in the description below for further information. Until the next video, stay safe.